Aloha. My name is Stacey Johnson and welcome to another episode of Real Talk with Real Stacey where we keep it real about what it's truly like to invest and live in paradise. On today's video, I'm going to be analyzing a property in Honolulu County. That way you know how to analyze a deal and make an offer so that you can be on your way to buying your first property and getting paid. We're analyzing a property on 2219 Star Road. This is in the Pa'oa area, right next to Nu'uanu. This whole area here is its own neighborhood on itself, so we're gonna have to make sure we look only in that area. Let's take a look at this property. Cute little house. I'm glad it has split AC, but it's gonna need new kitchen, new bathrooms, and somebody might even want to change this bottom to its own unit down there but let's just act like we're going to renovate it as is so looking at this property first things first we want to find the after repair value your after repair value is the most important number that you need to find because this is going to be the number that you're going to sell for and it's the first number in your formula so if you get this number wrong your whole formula is going to be wrong so you want to make sure you use a tool like prop stream that way you can get your arv correctly if you guys are looking to download prop stream make sure you go to the link in the description below and sign up for a free seven day trial so that you can analyze your after repair value correctly so going into prop stream we're going to search this property here in honolulu and we're going to go to details comparables and nearby listings only looking at the mls and i want to look at the last six months so february 1st to august 1st and i only want to look in this area here because i know that this area here is what is called Pa'oa. I know there's not a lot of comps here, so we're just gonna have to look and adjust these square footages to see what kind of properties we can find. So here we go. We got no minimum on here. Wanna look at active, pending, contingent, and sold. And we're in this whole neighborhood here. And boom, there it is. Our property has 1775, about a 6,000 square foot lot, three bedroom, 1.5 bath. So let's look at Booth Road here. Let's take a look at that. Let's just open these all up in a new tab. I Kello, we can take a look at this one. And then this is a CPR. These might be those super nice ones. Let's take a look. No, it's not, okay, perfect. And then this is the last one on Booth Road. I've sold a house here on Booth Road before. Perfect. So let's look at all of these properties. Star Road. Three, 1.5. It's currently listed for 1.025. How long have they been listed for? 29 hours. Okay, so they just listed. We got this one on Booth Road, four bedroom, 2.5. This is clearly a fixer upper seller's offering. It's two houses on one lot. This one sold for 1.295, okay. In August, dang, that's a while ago. This one is listed at 936. It also needs some TLC, so that one's not remodeled. Let's take a look and see what this one looks like so I'm gonna go to Oahu RE so I can actually see the pictures here if I search by the MLS number I don't think it's remodeled just by looking at the photos but you just never know what looks on the inside okay yeah confirmed not remodeled man this is a hard one so Clearly, they don't really have any comps, so we're gonna have to go a little bit further back. Let's go a little bit further back. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a couple more extra. There's mostly rentals here. This one's active. This is on Pacific Heights. Kanalii. Okay, let's look at this. Kanalii. 2485 Booth Road. I think we looked at that one, no? Did we look at that one? Yeah, that one's not remodeled. Okay. Oh, here we go. Pa'oa Road. 
This one might help. Let's take a look at that. Okay, this one sold for 1.24. Beautifully remodeled, perfect. Three bedroom, one bath, 1,000 square feet. Okay, here we go, now we're working with something. 5,388 Paola Valley. We got 1.5 baths, and clearly it's been a while from now since that point, but it at least gives us something to work with. So let's look at this one. Okay, so there's no info on that one. That's a two bedroom, one bath. I can't believe that thing sold for 1.1, that's insane. Okay, this is listed for 936, that needs work. This one sold for, this is our best bet here. Three bed, 1.5 bath is what we have. This is a three one. This, let's just take one two conservatively. I think we could probably sell for one two. If this sold for one one, shoot. Okay, so let's look at Star Road. It's cute, it's a little bit bigger and about the same size lot. Okay, so I think we can assume one, about 1.2. So let's say that we can sell this property for 1.2 million. Again, your after repair value is super important. And in places like Hawaii, it's hard sometimes when you get into neighborhoods like this because it's so hard to find comps and you're just gonna have to make your best educated guess. And that's why it's so important to run your numbers conservatively because sometimes there's just no comps and you have to know what kind of risk you're getting into. So looking at this property, I think that it's going to need a full remodel, new flooring, paint. There's one and a half baths. So I think that's total gonna be about 17 to 20,000. Total with the kitchen is you're gonna be looking at about 50K. It's a smaller house, so really I think you can fix this thing for about 100,000. So let's look and see at our Wealthy Investor Calculator. You guys can get this calculator directly from the Wealthy Investor Program. If you guys are interested in signing up, make sure you go to the link in the description below and sign up for a free strategy call with the team. If we think that we can sell for 1.2 million, Minimum profit, I'd want to make 120,000. Rehab costs, we're looking at 100K. Realtor commission, 6%. Closing costs, 2%. Utilities, 1%. Monthly HOA, there's no HOA here. Loan amount's gonna be your total purchase price, plus your rehab costs, plus all of your holding costs, because we're buying these properties with none of our own money. The loan amount is gonna be literally everything that you need for the deal. So they have their max allowable offer here at 800,000. So I'm just gonna plug that in just for now. Whole time, I think we'll probably hold it for about 12 months. Let's see how long it took to sell this thing. This thing listed in November of 2022 for 1.26. They ended up selling for 1.24. Dang, they bought this thing for 930 and they fixed it up and then they resold it, okay? So let's see what we got here. Interest rate, 11%, points, 2%. And they're saying our my max offer is 750. Let's see what happens when we plug that in. We make 120K. That's exactly what we're looking for. My max offer on this is 750. They're currently listed for a million two five. We're almost $300,000 apart. What do you guys think? Do you think that they're going to let me buy this property? for 750,000. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you guys love these videos, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos, and hit that bell notification to be notified because we're dropping deal analysis videos every single Friday at 1 p.m. HST. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next video. Shoots!